Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be reading a book called Flowey or Flowey. Lucy loved flowers. Whenever she behaved well, something happened very often. Because Lucy was a very obedient child, her mother would take her to a park where there were many flowers. Some as small as her cute little fingers and others even bigger than her. There was a flower sharp shop in the park. One day Lucy asked her mother, can I take one? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Her mother hesitated. I will take care of it, Lucy insisted. Hmm, do you promise? Yes, Lucy replied. Then choose one, her mother suggested. Cool, Lucy said. Now Lucy had a problem. Which flower should I take? Out of all the flowers, Lucy liked the one that seemed a little scared. What's your name? Lucy asked her. I do not have a, ma a name. Ooh, look at the thick um, eyes. The one, like, this, the, the dot on the bottom is the mouth, and those two are the eyes. The flower answered timidly. I'll cl call you Flowey. Flowey? I like it, the flower repeated. Then Louis proposed it. Do you want to come home with me? I do not know. If you come with me, I'll take good care of you, and we will be the best friends in the world, Lucy said. Wow, that sounded good, Louis thought. So he, oh, so he said, okay, I will go with you. On the way home, Lucy thought about all the games she was going to teach her new friend. Louis by her side still did not believe she had a name just for her. Lucy put Flo in the most beautiful window in her house where she was going to get the most sun. In the morning she watered her so so that she would be so that she would be very beautiful. Since Lucy liked to dance, she decided to teach her teach her flower how to do it. It's very easy, Lucy said. It's just I'm a little shy. Flower hesitated. Come on, come on, Lily insisted. The flower jumped to the rhythm of the music. See, you dance very well. L L Lucy congratulated her. You are a very good teacher, Flower answered. The two friends laughed at her. They danced and danced. They also played hide and seek. Six, seven, eight, Lucy said while Flowey hid behind the garden tree. Nine, ten. I'm coming to get you. I'm here, Chloe said, hurrying out of her hiding place. Do not tell me where you are, I'll, or I will find you, Lucy explained to her, laughing out loud. Chloe had not learned the, well, the rules well. They like to dress up a lot. Lucy as a princess, Chloe as the fairy godmother. I want a magic hairband, fairy godmother, Lucy asked her flower. As you wish, my princess, Chloe replied, waving her glowing wand. A beautiful sky hairband appeared on her friend's head. Cool, Lucy said. When it was Lucy's birthday, they had a party with cake and all. Two friends blew out the candles together, four years old already. The flower is four years old. The next day, Flowey waited for Lucy to go and see her, but her friend, but, but her friend did not appear. Has anything happened to Lucy? Flowey asked herself, very worried. Although she was a bit scared, she decided to go and look for her. When Flowey found Lucy, she was playing with a toy she had been given for her birthday. Lucy had forgotten about her flower. Chloe had be began. Chloe had became so sad that she began to wither. Much later, Lucy's mother realized that Chloe was sick. Hmm, I think someone has kept has not kept her promise. So she called Lucy. When Lucy saw the flower, she got a shock. What? What happened to Lucy? The Chloe? Did Joe remember to water her? No, I forgot. Lucy answered. My well, thing, Chloe has dried up. Try it up? What does that mean? Lucy said. Her mother's silence said everything. Lucy felt so sad. She cried and cried over her poor flower.
She cried so much that she fell asleep. She dreamt about and she dreamt about her friend, her smiling, her smiling flower, her happy flower. Then someone woke her up. Is that you, Mummy? Lucy asked, still sleepy. But she opened her eyes. She realized it was Flowey jumping with joy. You're alive, said Lucy. Your teeth have healed me, Flowey answered. Cool, the girl said, really happy. Cool, the flower repeated, also happy. I will never forget you again, Lucy promised Flowey as she hugged her. And she never did. If you enjoyed this story, oh, never mind. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up. I will see you in our next video. Bye!